Well, hey guys, welcome back. I just made it back to our location, our base, and uh, I did spend some time watching the previous two videos. I've got to get some of this stuff put away. Uh, the previous two videos, just to kind of see some of the items that I've missed, and I have to admit that I missed quite a few items uh, along the way. Uh, quite a few mechanical parts and quite a few uh, med kits. I said, oh, I'll go back and get that later. I'll remember what that is. No, no, I really didn't. That, that was pretty crappy of me. Uh, so anyway, so we're back. We just got this uh, brick forge up and running. I'm trying to figure out exactly where we are and what we're working on because this is day three in the game. It is 24 hours later for me. I did take an actual break from the game, so I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly where we were and what we were working on. Uh, clearly, we were getting this brick forge up and running, which is done now, so that's done. So I think we could go ahead and tear down some of these other ones, which will replenish some of our stones, which is good news. So we'll do those one by one. Uh, we'll get these sticks added here. And so what am I going to work on today now that we went out? How many tech points do we have? We have a total of five tech points, so that's pretty substantial in the grand scheme of things. I think that should really get us going. It is day three, 2.43 a.m., so I'm a little bit into this day. We've got all these fruits and veggies. They are ready to go. Probably going to take this watermelon right now, replant it, let it go, and probably eat it, eat this egg. I'm trying to get back up to close to as 100 possible that way we have a, a pretty big energy bar we've got three melons lined up here in case that we don't all right so what are we going to work on now uh, i think the thing that we need to work on now is probably going to make that decision i did not see cobalt so i think we're going to go barn which includes the butcher table i think we're going to go advanced workbench we're going to go chemistry for mike and then i think we're going to hang out and figure out what we're going to do after that. Maybe oil pump. The rack is so nice just because of all the clothing and stuff that may have to happen. Uh, but for now, we're going to work on that. So probably barn first. So I'm going to work on extending out. I am just going to attach the barn basically right to the side of where what we've been working on. They say it's a 4x3 grid. I feel like I can squeeze it into a three by three grid. I really want to keep our footprint as small as possible. I will probably do the greenhouse on the roof, believe it or not. Uh, that way we're just using uh, as small of a footprint as possible. So when we set up our defenses here the next day or so, because we will have to worry about an attack. Uh, did I take the stuff out of this ATV? I did not. All right, hold on. I've got to get organized here before we start rocking and rolling because I will not have any room to get anything done if I just leave all the stuff in here like that. So hold on a second. Let's see. Get all the big stuff pulled out. More planks. Really feel a momentum shift here on this day change. Uh, I like working continuously. I'm not a big fan of taking a break because it takes me a few moments to figure out where I was and what I was actually working on midstream. Plenty of nails and planks. I mean, nails and screws coming in here. I got iron ingots iron some steel uh gardening i've got some lots of fruits and veggies here uh, probably gonna need some more storage boxes pretty soon hardware fuel that can go there whatever whatever we'll get it cleaned up later and then the last of it you 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 i'm gonna do a tallow count real quick oh yeah there it is there's that third tallow i'm glad i did not start leaving those behind those Livers are probably going to go bad unless I pop a chemistry table very, very quickly just to keep and go ahead and get that antidote made up for Mike. It would not be a terrible idea to get that antidote made up very quickly and just let it hang out and sit there. Uh, but So grab some logs. And this is just going to be getting this foundation laid down, trying to get the barn infrastructure in place as fast as possible. This is just a lot of grindy type activity here, just back and forth, back and forth. I am going to try to keep the, the smelting going as well. There we 
go. I'm going to go check those stones because those probably are ready to come out. They are. We will absolutely fly through this stone crate now because 10 at a time. I do have a decent back stock of some iron ingots, so I'm not dying to have this thing rocking and rolling the entire time. But in this, for the sake of efficiency, man, really cleared out a lot of these trees already out here. For the sake of efficiency, really need to try to keep everything running at the same time. Not have things down for extended periods of time. Because if it's down, it's not producing. If it's not producing, it's slowing us down. We're probably going to start getting into a little bit more of a spring type weather here soon. It looks like 59 degrees. We're probably coming out of that early, early, early spring, late winter. So we're going to start having to worry about the sun, I think, during the day. Uh, so I'll probably look at building that hat. Uh, that hat that gives you the 50% additional sun resistance. Um, I'm in, in the south, but I do not like the sun either in the real world. So I'm totally fine with doing the nice big sun hat to keep us nice and cool so we can work longer during the day. I don't really do the potato paste thing. I, I pass it up a lot, and then sometimes I'm like, why didn't I just use it? And then I kick myself in the butt, and then we move on. So, oh look, a pumpkin. This thing is just throwing food at me left and right. After we get this barn ghost image placed, gonna start seeing what we have for actual materials. I know it's like 150 planks or something. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of planks. Whoa, that was weird. A lot, a lot, a lot of planks. Um, unfortunately, it's just the, the, the way the cookie crumbles. Hello, come on. Gonna see if I can at least get the ghost image placed here. If I can get the ghost image placed, and I know it fits, that makes life a little bit better. Couple more trips here. Mr. Chicken. If I wasn't looking so good on the food and energy levels, you would probably have ret been returned to your sender, whoever that may be. But we're going to let you survive for now. I am probably going to look at maybe in the next day. At, I know it's day three, 4 45 a.m., very early in day three. But I'm going to have to start worrying about our base defenses very, very soon because day four will obviously be tomorrow. And at any point in time, I think on day five, the first attack can occur. I don't think it's like at 12.01 midnight. I think there's a, a, a randomization to it. Are these all full of logs already? Look at that. Wow. All right. Let's get some more planks going here. Perfect. Grab these. Hopefully this will be the last of that, and then we can see if we can get this image down. Uh, of course, I'm four planks short. We'll take you, and you, and then we're probably going to move these logs just a little bit closer to where we need to be. Alright, so, can we get the barn in this location? I don't know why we couldn't. I mean, it looks like it's going to fit. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We may actually push it out just a little bit. Something like that. Right up to the back end. We got some walk around. Oh, boy, that's really, really close. Uh, I don't like it. I am going to move it just a little bit. Sorry. I thought I got it the first shot, and I pretty much did. But this new not being able to see through it does change things just ever so slightly. I do want to leave room between here. That way I can pass through. Maybe put a set of steps there if I need to. But anyways, what do we need here? 100 planks, 150 nails, so and 10 iron ingots. So we can go ahead and start looking at some of these items in here. I'm gonna grab as much of this as I can squeeze into my body. Boom, nice and full. We're gonna do some more. I mean, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go ahead and craft 90 of those. It's fine. This is our absolute next item that we're going to work on. We're going to get to the point where we're just waiting for ingots. I wish there was an add all option here. Like, I don't want to have to click spammy, spammy, spammy a million times. I do wish that there was a, uh, hey, add everything that's in my inventory in one shot type of scenario. 
just to save us some time. Uh, as far as food, we're looking pretty good still. The game is saving itself automatically. All right, so planks, 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 planks. I'm going to move these a little bit closer, I think, just so I can be a little bit more efficient. And by more efficient, I'm hoping I can just have these lined up where I can load them from the ground. Don't squat. Load them from ground level, which is kind of what I'm referring to. Why is that not? Hello? Oh, maybe the table. Well, that is Boo Boo Brown. All right, we'll do that that way. I can just load these directly. And then when I'm up top, I can just turn and rotate in place. So, like this. Yeah. See, that's fine. All right. Add these planks. Come check on these guys. How close are we here? Yep. Really, really close here. All right. And then we're going to need some stones. Some stones in just a moment. Just take them all. I think I need 60 more. So one, uh, two, three, four, five. Do 50 plus another 10. And then the rest of the iron ingots. And we're really just kind of holding on planks at this point. So we're really going to focus up. Yeah, planks. Those iron ingots are going to happen basically on their own. Uh, is it raining? Oh, maybe it's going to rain. That would be really, really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and harvest probably two of these bad boys. Replant those because if it is going to rain, I feel like the wind's picking up. If it is going to rain, I want to make sure that these all have free labor involved. That's the way I'm looking at this is eat, eat, eat it all, boy. Eat it all. Nice. We still have not slept. I did make a full commitment as far as eating all that food in one shot. I do need some more stone because we are going to keep those going. Mr. Chicken. Stone axe. Oh, this pickaxe is getting ready to go. So we're going to take you immediately and just go ahead and make a blade. It looks like we have some fibers on us. We'll hopefully find a random stick while we're out and about on our daily chores. Why are we so heavy? Oh, look. It's all of this. And I'm actually needing to start... I may need to be careful and not just waste every single one of those immediately. Because I am going to start needing some rope very, very soon. Probably today I'll need some rope. Oh, no. Boo-boo. Oh, wait. I can take you. Don't pick it up. Harvest it. All right. I don't, can't do iron yet. There we go. All right, cool. Back to, oh, there's a stick right there on the ground, too. Shocker. Just going to load, 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 load. Load, 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 load. Stack, stack, stack. I, oh, man, I tell you, these chickens, man. If I had... I can't remember. Did I purchase the advanced bench? I, believe, I think I did. I, I, I really probably should start working on a quiver so I can start capturing some of these animals. Because he is just hanging out. I mean, he is asking for it. He really, truly is asking for it. All right, stones here. Some fragments coming out. We'll do another group here, and then we're going to get back on the planks and logs. I'm going to convert these to rope. Just so I start to have some. I don't know where to put it. Put it here. Here. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Mr. Logs, where are you? Man. All these small trees are just like little nickels and dimes here. This stone axe is going to go through too. And I really don't want to invest in the iron tools until I have the grinder. Because that is just a waste of resources having to constantly try to remake the tool. It's not exactly... There's the rain that we were looking for, so our crops are getting watered for free. No labor involved. We've already harvested the food from it, so that's really good news. Let's go get some plank action. We'll just do this. Boom. You, you, and you. How 
closer. Are we here? What do we have here? We've got one, two. Okay. You and you and you are in the wrong location. Will you go in there? You will. Boy, I'm really going to need to. Uh, more bark chips, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. More logs. Go up there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take. I mean, it's right here at it. Just take, take, take. Go, go, go. Pretty nice storm we've got going on here. I wonder if I should consider making myself a log stand. Because I'm kind of just... I could do that, right? I could make a log stand. And just... Man, I need to start getting some of these bigger trees, I think. And let some of these smaller ones hopefully mature a little bit. I don't know how long it takes for them to mature. Gotta keep an eye on the clock today, too, because I do not want to miss my curfew. 7.41 a.m. Alright, so we've got a nice full day ahead of us. Should not have any problems. We're probably going to be at our camp for the most of the day today. We're not going to venture far. We've got good energy levels. We've got good food. We really want to get this up and running. I may throw down the ghost image of the advanced workbench and start looking at the items needed for the quiver. I cannot remember. I think it's animal hides. Is that right? Animal hides? Yeah, I can't remember. I haven't played this game quite enough to have everything fully memorized. But if it is animal hides, I think I have zero at this point. Oh, a watermelon. Just randomly hanging out here. Sure. We'll take that. Thanks. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And boom. All right. Hopefully these are done. Beautiful. Here we go again. I mean, this is just a lot of the same task over and over. Very grindy. Keeping that rutted. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish. Will that finish that off? That would finish that off. So we're probably going to look at that soon. Hello. We're approaching the halfway mark of manually making this barn. We are over halfway. All we can do is just keep working. That's all we can do. Uh -huh. Boy, these trees are really getting to be far out here. We will do a very big loot run. After we get our base defenses up, we will do a very large loot run, and we will probably get every bit of our last remaining tech points and as close to one loot run as possible. There's another cucumber out there. Try to get the last of the tech points and try to get the last of uh, what the, the important items that we need. Fighting off this cold. All right, how many that's we had? Pull them all out. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will save that more just to keep the gods happy. Matter of fact, we'll go. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and just turn it to a steel. That way, I can't be tempted to use it. We'll throw the wood chips in here while that's smelting. More logs. Let's go. Same thing over and over and over. Over and over and over. I am going to go inside after this next load of logs. Hello. And I am going to go ahead and place the location for the advanced workbench. That way I can start throwing some materials into that. Because that will allow us to obviously make the tranquilizer. 
items that we would need to store animals. It would also give us access to make the iron tools. Shall I find it possible to, to get that done without wasting the tools? So depending on what path we're going to take with these tech points, that could be sooner rather than later. Almost completed here. All right, so where's the advance going to go? We're just going to place it. Oop. Uh, where is the advanced? That's chemistry. This is the advanced. We're just going to pop you in there. Now, uh-oh, that needs copper. I forgot about that. All right, well. Well, that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? That shows you just some of my unfamiliarity with the game. So that means the... I'm glad I didn't use up all my checkpoints because we're going to have to run a mineral extractor up in the mine, which is 18 iron ore excuse me, 18 iron ingots, eight plank, eight nails. So that puts a little bit of pressure on us. Uh, come on. Where are we here? We're getting really, really close here. 18 of these. I don't know why this one is not like me withdrawing from it. Down to 10. So we'll pop there, pop there, pop there. One more iron ingot. We need 10 planks and 10 nails. I think I have nails left. I actually have a substantial supply of nails, so that's good news. Probably burned off way too many ingots accomplishing that, but it is what it is. Uh, 10 planks, one more iron, and some copper. All right, so that will become iron. Four more planks, which is, hello, perfectly calculated out there. Oh, I see another watermelon. This is just lovely. And sometimes I feel like that is a veggie of some sort, because that plant just seems like it is a little bit more prominent against the background. It seems to stand out a little bit more so, and maybe that's just my mind. I mean, clearly it's just my mind, but... Hey, don't drop that. All right. So this is about as wide as our base is going to be for a while. I cannot lose track of time. I know I've said that a couple different times today, but I cannot lose track of time because I cannot afford a horde attack with undefended base. Uh, we will go ahead and pop, hello, one more please, pop some more rope. We got two stacks of that. That should be able to really sustain our, ooh, why is there nothing happening there? And I'm also out of stone. All right, pop these two in there just to fill it out. Uh, we're looking for to complete this. Look at that, folks. That is now done. That is great news. I'm going to take these planks as well and put them on the advanced table inside. And then I'm going to go out here and move these tables away from the butcher just a little bit. Cleaner of a setup here, right up against the wall. I know I'm moving things a couple different times, but it's okay. That way I have access to the butcher table pretty quickly. Why are you not snapping? Like, why are you making that so difficult? So over that range, move you. I do want to set a steps. Uh, construction stairs. Just uh, We'll go here with it. It's fine. Four planks, three logs. One, two, three. We'll keep you running. Just I like that. Beautiful. I do not have. I'm gonna check out you. I don't know if that pig's still around. I don't think he's still around. Let's go see what we got. What do we have in here? Good on the planks. We need one more iron, which will be popping out there any second. That is actually not iron ore. That is iron frags. I, I should just put metals for now because that is going to be all over the place come on this is going to be all over the place until all right so that's that that's that oh another iron ingot in here you can hang out there do you get an animal hide from a raccoon it's only one way to find out right what up dude yoink hey 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 Ooh. oh my god my spear really 
Oh, Lord. Now I just look like a crazy dude chasing a raccoon. I am going to go get the cart for that, because for some reason, that raccoon acts like it weighs a thousand pounds, and I can't, like, just throw it in my backpack. Like, that raccoon actually takes some time to move him. Like... Dude, look at the size of that raccoon! I mean, that is freaking humongous! I do have water, so I can't go ahead... Hello? Go ahead and butcher this guy. Oh, I have not made my steps yet. Stand by. Two planks. That'll make life a little bit better. Come on up here, bro. Butcher you up. Did we get an animal hide? We did not from him. Okay. Well. Do I have dirty water? I do. Hopefully that's enough to wash our hands. It was. I did get a liver. So that's good news. So I am... Uh, yeah, see those other livers have already gone bad. I don't have the mushrooms because I have not been by the cave yet. I am going to have to get the mineral extractor going. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it because that's the only way I can get the copper to complete that. And that's all that is waiting on. So we're going to go ahead right now and just place a point in the extractor technology. Where is that? Extractor technology. Yep. And I know that's 18 ingots. And that's going to be what we're stuck on probably the most. So. Oh, our axe is about. Just keep the weight down. Sorry about that popping noise. That is me turning my mic on and off. That way you guys don't have to hear me on my deathbed here. As, oh. There we go. This crate's getting pretty close to being full. See, that plant to me looks like it should be something. The way it just sits, just the way it stands out. I mean, there's a lot of them, but just interesting general foliage in the game. I am going to pick up that stick just because I know that our axe is basically on its last leg. I know at any point in time it's going to go ahead and retire on us. So, just in anticipation of being ready. One, one, two, blah, 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 like that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pop this down, get rid of those. Keep the as small as possible. Beautiful. All right, that's that. That's that. Not really certain. All right, so I guess uh, I have one more point left available. I think I should save it. I really want to get that chemistry table up, and I really want to go see if I can find Mike. But I also need to worry about my base defenses. I've got plenty of food. I would like to have a bow and arrow soon. And I would like to have... Oh, and there goes... There goes our boy. Our axe. We knew it was coming. Oh, wait, that's clay. Oh, that pig's still here. Oh, that's glorious. I just heard that pig. There's our... Oh, 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 oh. There's our axe. Where'd he go? Mr. Pig, hey. I'm about to make another bone spear. Do I have the cart out here? I do. Uh, how do we want to play this? I say we... We grab this log here. We grab this log here. We go in here. And this is where I probably should have had a log stand, like I said I was going to do earlier, which I did not do. So, in order to prove that 
log stand that I do listen to my advice sometimes. I'm gonna do that. Come on, get out of there. I'm gonna do that, harvest that. One or two firewood should get us where we need to be. Probably enough sticks on the ground already, but just like that. Did I not do a log stand? What did I do? I did a plank stand. Well, that wasn't very smart, was it? Why would I do a plank stand? Log stand. You. And more sticks. Because... Alright, there we go. We'll get that cleaned up. Oh. And a sheep. Alright. We may have our animal hides here, if I can remember where I retired this pig. I feel like it was somewhere up in this range. And this could be a little dense up here. Let's see. Uh oh. Um, I was working here. Right in this area, there's all the stones. And then I feel like I walked right up here. Okay, now what do I do with the log cart? Get it together, dude. Alright, hold on. Right here by this little tree is our pig. You. Go pick up the little pig. Right by that tree. We are going to have so much food. Bro. Are you going to be my second animal hide? Because if you're going to hang out, you're going to get it. That is a watermelon. Yeah. Oh, he does eating restore your stamina. Mm, can't tell. All right, let's get him up here. Go ahead and butcher him. We're gonna be heavy, heavy, heavy with all this bacon on us, right? Clean our hands. We can eat the liver. Eat some more meat. Eat some more meat. Eat some more meat. Boy, we really need to start looking at that drying rack, I think. Um, there's the animal hide. Why can't I pick you up? Because I've got a bunch of really ridiculous stuff on me, is why. Those bones, man. Holy moly. Do not forget your one sheep out there. Go get that immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get in there. Get in there. This animal hide is huge. It takes up a lot of inventory space. I'm gonna grab. Come on, why won't you sprint? I am gonna grab this sheep right here, and we're gonna go straight for a butcher on it and see. If I get that second animal hide, and if I do, that does give us access to that quiver. I think if I remember correctly, I got the second animal hide, and I get, get, did get wool, and I don't know why it uses all 60 water to wash my hands. Like, that is just, that blows my mind. All right. So, what is it that you need to make the quiver? Quiver is two rope, two hide. So, I've got that. One, two, two rope, two hide. I'm assuming it's on here. Yeah, there's our quiver. So, we're looking good there. We've got that in our inventory now. So, now we can start more bone shards. Go ahead and make some more rope. Throw that wool in there. How close is this? These are close. This is still on copper. Okay, so we're working on our 18 ingots. Probably going to need to worry about the storage on this guy here. That's perfect. That will hold exactly 18 ingots with that gas can currently in there like that. So that's really good news. We'll get these going here. Just like that. Don't know why I decided to make a plank stand instead, but now we have two. 
Got to pull this out of here. Put him up here so I can now relocate this. I can relocate it to something like that. All right, what time is it? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Do not lose sight of the time. Gonna restock up here. Gonna probably move you up here now, get you out of the way. Why am I having a tough time lighting you up? Something like that is just fine. Have you up and out of the way. We got one iron ingot. We'll get all that smelted here in just a minute. We're going to start putting you in there. I will hold the eight planks and the eight nails on me. We will also need four of you. I will carry those on my person as well. When we get down there, we'll grab mushrooms while we're down there. Excellent. Excellent. All right, what are we working on? More planks because we're going to start working on probably getting the NPC house and the storage uh, town hall available because most likely we're going to do chemistry and then go find Mike. After we do the greenhouse, we still have summer so we don't have to worry about our plants expiring. Speaking of, they probably need water. And they do. And I have all that meat on me. I really don't know what to do with all that meat. I should probably do the rack thing. Let it dry. Or I could just let it expire. Because I am not hurting for food right now. Whoa. I am not hurting for food, and if I let it expire, it would be biofuel, and biofuel is going to be very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another storage box right here at the front, like just like this. Nice. Uh, hardware. This is now going to get changed over. Oops. Oh, Lord have mercy. So this goes here. This goes... No, this comes with me. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. This goes... Everybody's making it so difficult. There we go. All right. So we're doing a little bit of a shift over here. This is now going to be called big stuff. That's now gardening. Oof. Boy, that's big stuff too. I am just all disorganized right now. Ton of big stuff. Gardening. This is all that. This is fuel. That could stay there for now, I guess. It's fine. Tallow. I'm overweight. Incredible. All right. Nice. All right. Looking better. Looking better. What do we have here? All that food. Holy moly. Uh, bacon. We're just going to eat. Eat until we are happy. We will be thirsty. We will be unhappy. We will be all of those things. Until we drink, and then we will be happy. All right. So I am going to let some of this food go. Wait, can I put food in here? I thought I could. I'm just probably going to let most of this go bad. <sighs> that way, I don't have to deal with it. All right. What do we got here? 18 ingots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, it's fine. Where is it? Didn't I have one more here? Or did I already put it out there? It's here. Yep, we can stay there for now. Okay. More logs. And then I'm going to start placing my spike traps. Right now, we're going to do it early. <clears throat> I don't want to wait and get caught. I'm going to go very, very tight here. Very tight to the building. I want to make sure that, you know, we uh, have as small a footprint as possible. We're as efficient as possible. I think this is all sticks, ropes, and logs. I don't think there is any other items required to make this. And this will give us the option of 
well, not the option, but the ability to rest a little bit easier, knowing that when it comes on day four, we will be ready for it. Mr. Logcart, you are going to be right in the way. But it's okay. These are just ghost images. Place, place, place. One more, probably. Maybe a slight turn on it. Slight. And we can always move these. I mean, that's the one good thing. Yeah, fuel tank. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I don't want to mess with the fuel tank right now. So one good thing that I've noticed about this game is you're not locked into any one specific item. I mean, excuse me, location. If you get going on something and you don't like it, you're normally pretty free to move it around. Uh, don't really care. Sticks, ropes, and logs. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so we're going to grab as many of these ropes as possible, and we're just going to get those placed. Hello. You're going to be out here, and we are just going to harvest, harvest, harvest. Firewood. Firewood. And we got to keep those ingots going so we cannot get super tunnel visioned here. I know it's super easy. But we've got to keep those going. In fact, I'm 99% certain that it's just sitting in there static right now. And I don't have the room for it because I took out... Okay, so get it together, dude. Don't need nearly that many rocks. I mean ropes. All right. That does not feel like it placed nearly enough. One, two, three. Oh, I really need to uh, break that down. Put those in the out here. Something like that. All right. Logs and sticks. There's one. There's another one. Let's go get a cart full of logs. While we have a minute. Once we have this layer of safety, then we will really start looking at... Oh look, wood chips falling everywhere. Once we have this layer of safety, we'll start looking at expanding into our greenhouse, which is going to go on top of our main location, our main base. I do like using some vertical space. Uh, just like in the real world, it is much cheaper to build up than it is to build out. So we'll take advantage of that here. What is that missing? Probably rope, right? Most likely rope, it is rope. Because I haphazardly ran around in a circle, adding rope, or pretending like I was adding rope, and it did not do any of that. This is just a disaster, is what the issue is. That's the whole issue here, is that I've just got random sticks, random ropes. Let's see if we can get our act together here. That's probably a lot better. There we go. All right. Three at a time. I should probably pull that cart with me. Not worried about the onesie twosie guys here. We can just pop, 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 pop. And we will probably pop some trees from this backside over here. Keep an eye out for food. And I'm going to start looking at making a bow very, very soon. Because that does make, obviously, hunting extremely easy. You don't have to chase them around with a spear. And it also means I don't have to run around and constantly worry about my spear being broken. Because I'm not having to use that as my primary attack weapon. I'm going to eventually run out the sticks here. Oh, well, I think this already happened. Well, there you go. So we'll just do some more salvaging back here. A 
feel like. I'm starting to hear a little bit more cricket action, which means the temperature's probably starting to come up. We are in a full-blown spring at this point in time, I think. Five o'clock in the evening, on a nice March day. You have to keep an eye on the time, because I do not want to miss curfew tonight. And we are probably about halfway around this base at this point in time. Somewhere in that ballpark of half. Oh, well, it looks like we've done a little more than half, because... And I will not spend a lot of time upgrading these to the iron ones just yet. I have no logs in that. Uh, I, I find that... What's the issue? Ah, oh, the sun! See? Here comes that daggone sun. I got you, bud. We're gonna get inside right now, and then we're gonna look to see what we need to get you that sun hat. Alright, so that's gonna be... a. I can't remember if it's the loom to make the hat, or if it's just on the workbench. It's probably going to be the loom, right? Uh, the cooling hat is on a workbench. 25 fiber, 3 cloth. So, oh man, I wish I had some fiber. Where's my cloth? Is it out here? Yes, it is. We're going to go ahead and bake this immediately. Hopefully the game is smart enough. To, why can't I? 25 fiber, 3 cloth. Why do I have to do this, like, manually? Blows my mind. Wait, what? Yeah, like, why I have to do that manually, I do not know. Alright. We're going to eat, 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 eat. We're going to take some more clean water. We're going to drink. We're going to look at our inventory. We're going to add some wood chips here just to keep that up and running. And then we're going to add you to here and here. You there. And then I know that I've been very inefficient here. But we're probably starting to get within... Uh, an earshot of having that. Yeah, so that should help on the resistances. Probably getting within earshot of having that first extractor up and running, which it does appear to me it needs to be copper. And then we will quickly work on that second one, which we will probably put on as cobalt. Because that seems to be the chemistry table. And is that a full 360 on this? That is a full 360. So now we have our protection. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Ah, uh, yes, we have some melons coming back. Go ahead and... How many do we have here? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Replant. 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 And replant. I am going to manually water these. Because I really need to keep these melons going. And what's going to happen is it's probably going to start raining the moment I get done doing this part. It's most likely what's going to happen. Seems to be my MO. All right, beautiful. All right, what have we got in here? Those are close. We're going to grab some more stones. I don't really need this many sticks on me. I don't really care about them anymore. No, that's completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we've got... We're going to move you out of the way. Move you out of the way. Alright, so that is... Now we... Five in there. Five there. What do we have here? Five. We're close. Let's get out of the sun. We're going to eat, 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 and eat. Looking fantastic. I'm going to burn up one of those med kits just to stay 100. All right. What do we got going on here? Uh, this, I'm going to put this ghost image. Oh, I don't have this even obtained. I can't. All right. Uh, what do, have I learned? The advanced workbench is placed. The chemistry. I can go ahead and start looking at getting that plugged in to our... Hello. Just go somewhere. 
doesn't have to be perfect. We could look at placing our chemistry table and start working on getting those parts. I don't know if it really matters, which we have faces. I'm just going to have it here. Lead, nail, glass, and plank. Okay, so that's pretty simple, actually. Planks. Oop, wrong table. Glass is sand, which is right here. That's the two glass. Ten nails, which I don't know why I put this box out here. I honestly don't know. This is hardware. This needs to stay in here for easy access. Take you. We're going to do some glass. And then we'll do some of you. Okay, what are we missing? Lead ingots. Lead obviously comes from the cave, the glass, so that we'll come back with the lead for this. We'll place the extractor for copper is what our attack is going to be here on this. The sun is starting to set. 718. It's now May on day three. We're looking good. We've got our base completely fully defended from the small attacks that we're going to start having in the next two days. So that gives us a little peace of mind that if we're out and about and we happen to oh, we grab that cucumber. If we're out and about in that watermelon and we happen to get sidetracked and hit up an extra town or two, we don't have to necessarily worry about our base getting overrun. Log stand is down at this end. And there's the rain. Not quite on cue, but pretty close to after I said it would rain after I got done watering all those plants. Because that's pretty much the way my luck is. Go put this other plank down. And then hopefully we'll have some... Come on. I'm going to have to get stoned because I don't think we quite have enough here. Back in the gardening. This is now hardware. Not hardware. Hardwire. Hardware. Alright, let's go see where we are. Because this is by far the thing that's. Nope. The thing that's going to hold us up the most. We are one, two more iron ingots, so we need some more stone. There's no ifs, ands, or boots about it. Here we go. We're going to go right here. Wacky, wacky, wacky. We will just have to nickel and dime this until we can get some help on the farm. Look at all the clay right here. Is that three bunches of clay? Mr. Chicken, we're okay on food. So, there's a melon. I did watch my video from yesterday, and I did see that I missed a melon right on the other side of my farm here, or on this side of my prairie here, and I just kept telling myself I was going to go back and get it. And of course, I never did. Now, I'm going to grab this melon because it's right here. Oh, there's another cucumber and another watermelon. So there's just fruit and there's another melon. There's just so much food out right now, this time of year. So we'll fill her up. Get that going again. And we're going to go eat. Let's see, where was some of that stuff? The cucumber. Oh, you're a stone. Another watermelon. Where was that other melon? Might be okay here. 
don't want to waste too much time chasing down right there. I don't want to waste too much time chasing down items that we're not dying for. Alright, where are we here? Because we're going to have to make a run to the mine soon as this last iron. I wonder if I could start... placing items in the barn if it will prevent it from going bad. Alright, so anyways. I don't know if... I can get it done from here. I can, but I think if I try to do my stairs to the second floor without the walls and stuff, it will. It does not like it. So this will be a temporary wall here. I do want to get up top and get that greenhouse placed so we can start working on that. It's not super important to have that finished immediately because our veggies that we are growing will survive for quite a few more months. But I have noticed that I will lose track of time a little bit and then the next thing I know it's 39 degrees outside and my greenhouse may have plants in it but it may not be completely finished and so therefore they start to wither and then ultimately die. Alright, so, can I get the stairs? Why won't you go in there? Thank you. I wish I could offset these stairs where they, see that goes right to the middle of the barn. And that is just not how I want that to be. I would like to be able to shift this. Wait, is there a way to do the snapping thing? How do you do that? Hold on. Snapping. So if I do that, can I... No, see, this is foundation snap. Everything else, I think, has to be centered. Uh, so, I guess we have no choice. Get rid of this wall. Give me that log back. And then we're just going to have to go up, like, right here. It's just, unfortunately, the way it's going to have to be. We'll throw that there. that. We'll pull those planks. We can throw the planks right here. We will need... Oop, we'll plank stand. Let's get it out of the way for now. We will do another set of steps just right here. Like this. Alright, up we go. So now we're up here and I believe the greenhouse should fit. I don't have it unlocked. Okay. What do we have here? So, what am I holding on? Gas? No. Greenhouse? Sink? Butcher? Don't need. Mixer? That's later. Grinder? Later. Rack? Oil pump? Are gonna have to make a decision here. Circular saw? Yeah. I'm kind of... Mm, yeah, none of this up here matters to me. Uh, it's probably gonna go ahead... I'm just probably just gonna go ahead and do the greenhouse. Yep, it's fine. Oop, I've already done it. Too late. Doesn't matter. No takesies backsies. I should be able to get the greenhouse on here. Some... Oh, I, I don't know if I like this new... Owie. Oh, I don't know if I like this new... Snapping or the, the this non-ghost image type thing. I find it a little difficult to see how it's aligned, like, everywhere else, other than, like, you see the front view of it. It's like, oh, well, that's there, but then when you go place it, you're like, well, that's overhanging there, so then you, you don't like it, so then you move it again. I don't know. I, I, I wish there'd be a way to toggle the view or whatever. So we're going to put it... Right about there, I think. I don't know if Mike will be able to, so we'll end up having... The, this is going to be in a covered porch anyways. <clears throat> and this stairwell will probably get moved out a little bit. So I don't know if Mike will be able to actually use this. So glass, more copper, planks, and nails. Okay. Where are we here? We are nowhere near where we need to be right now. All right. 
what time is it? 10 o'clock at night. Uh-oh. This day is very quickly closed and coming to an end on us here. And I don't know if I've accomplished what I've wanted to accomplish today. Uh, two copper. That's lead. Upstairs is copper and glass. And planks and nails. I can go ahead. I'm going to place this... These are all just happen to be running in different directions. So planks and logs. One, two logs. We'll grab some more planks. And I may end up going ahead and just putting a couple posts down. Hey, bird. What up? What are you? A goat? Man, I really, 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 really wish I had gone to the caves right now because I believe that's the only thing that's really keeping me from having animals is now having that tranquilizer dart that tranquilizer arrow and that's just basically mushrooms that's the only item there and they only come from the caves so I really got to get those last iron ingots done so I can go place that first extractor put it on copper hello Give me some of these. Put it on copper. And get mushrooms while I'm there. And then we can start having some critters actually in our facility. Okay, so that's that. We're going to put, just for cosmetic purposes, construction other here. Right here on this corner. Hello. Hello. Like right there. I think it's two logs. Yep. And then another one on like that corner. That way we just have some form of, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and place the other one here. I mean, this is all, oop, get rid of that pillar. This is all kind of cosmetic type stuff, but I also don't want just my dude up there. Oh, see, now this, can I rotate this? I don't think you can see I think I think I missed the pooch on this one I think I, I built it and I shouldn't have I should have gone I should have went ahead and just made these ceiling tiles and been done with it all right what do we need here one more log and I'll probably not oh I do have one more all right that's fine this can come out now because we're not going up that direction and then we are going to figure out how to get up it might just be a set of steps here Straight up. Let's see what that looks like. Rotate. That'll be just fine to get up from there. Three planks, three logs. One, two, three. Oh, and I always over pull my planks every single time. All right. One more set of logs. Well, actually, before we go, why are you there? Don't know how that happened. Let's pull you. Get another batch of you, and then hopefully that'll get us pretty close to needing, that's the last of our iron ingots that we need for our first extractor. And then we can go do that, what time is it? 11.23. How many sets of staircases got built? What is happening? All right. So hopefully we can get this staircase done, and then we can go to bed for the night. I will not look at all these melons out here. I am not going to have my character sleep. I am just going to wrap up day number three. At midnight, I'm actually going to try to do it on time. Yeah, got 30 minutes. I don't know what that relates to in the real world. Like, maybe if I knew how long a 24-hour period was in the real world, I would be able to make curfew a little bit better. Because I honestly don't know. All right. Probably should move that sign somewhere interior and actually put something on it. Let's see. All right, there's our set of steps. Does this need logs? It does not. It's all nails and planks. So this is just going to be a straight up plank war at this point. Why? Do, man, sometimes the... I don't know. The interactions on some of these items are just a little bit wonky. All right. I think there was three out there I needed. I think it was three. Three more iron ingots. Those are in the way. To, to fill up. Hello? See, I can't pick up anything out of that. It's just awkward sometimes. Alright, 
That's that. Let's see what we got. Let's make them all. One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop you there. All right. We don't need any more plant fiber at all. Gardening. Gardening, gardening, gardening. Put a rock back. Hardware. Hardware. Food. All right. What do we got here? Gardening. Big stuff and hardware looking good. Copper, lead, that's in the cave. That's the cave. Let's take a look. Oh, only needed two more. me again I felt like that was some type of full plant nope I mean it is a plant it's not an edible plant how are fruits or veggies look I bet they all need water they're gonna be close to being completed all right we got plenty of ironing gets coming out of here that could go up there that's fine we'll get it all cleaned up you are gonna need a bunch of glass here very very soon so that's gonna be another demand on stones but right now, 12.25 a.m., I'm going to restock this one time, I'm going to call it a night, I'm going to put the stuff in the ATV, and then day four, we're going to head down to the mine and get our very first metal extractor up and running, make sure we have everything we need. There's 18 there. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day four.